Hi everybody. Uh, it's crappie season right now. They're getting ready to spawn. And so they are up shallow in the creek. I was out the, uh, yesterday and uh, they've moved up. So I'm gonna start going up in the creek and I'm gonna start using a slip cork, a little slip bobber, just uh, cause they're gonna be shallow. And then, so I'm gonna show you how that we're gonna install this. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bobber stop. Take the little bobber stop. You're gonna run your line through it. This is just a little uh, string one. You can do rubber if you want, but I like this cause it runs through the uh, eyes of the fishing rod better if you need it up that high, but we are gonna be shallow. So line it up, run it through. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, so now there's that plastic piece that's on the inside. We're gonna just remove that by sliding it off. Take that, throw that away. Grab your two ends of your string here, of your bobber stop, and you're gonna just pull and tighten them up. Get them as tight as you can. And then I like to trim off uh, the excess edge of the string. I don't get it too close, but I like to cut it off to where it's down a little shorter. Let's see. Just one side. There's the other side. Okay, so next thing that we're gonna put on is we're gonna put on the bead. The bead's gonna help prevent that bobber, that slip cork from going up over your line. I need my glasses on for this. Nope, oh, got it. All right, so we got the bobber stop. We got our bead. Now we're gonna put our cork on. So I'm gonna slide this up the line just a little bit. And you're gonna run your line through the center of your slip cork. Okay, now that that's on, uh, you can tie off your jig or you can put a weight on it if you want, but uh, I'm just using the jig head that's gonna be heavy enough for me. So I'm gonna use a, um, a loop knot just to tie off my jig head. And then again, to adjust the depth that you're gonna be fishing, just take that bobber stop, slide it up to the depth that you want. And as you cast it out, the weight's gonna pull it down. The thing about the weight I wanna talk about is you don't wanna use too heavy a weight with your slip cork. So if it's too heavy, it's gonna start pulling your your slip cork under and you won't be able to see your bite really, you're just gonna be going by feel. So make sure you're not using too heavy of a weight. All right. So I'm gonna tie off, I'm gonna rig three rods with a uh, different jig and different size and different colors on each one. So just take it and you're gonna tie it off and put whichever one you want on. So let's see. If I can see it. Now the way I tie it off is I just do a overhand loop. And then I run it through once, through twice, and then one more time. And I'm gonna keep this close to the eye, pull both ends. and then cut off your excess there. So now we're left with your slip cork. Again, adjust your bead and your bobber stop to the depth that you want. And as you throw it in the water, this will slip up to the depth and it'll stop and hold it there. All right, hope you enjoyed.